The old abandoned warehouse off Dearborn, the one we used to meet in before college. Yeah, so? Is it still empty? I think. Perfect. We're gonna make like Mrs. O'Leary's cow. Richard, not another fire. Hey, if you don't want to be with me. All right. But I'm just gonna stand guard, like I used to. Eight o'clock, the old warehouse. Now you better get busy. You've gotta get the gasoline, buy some extra long matches. Thrill Me by Stephen Dollenhoff is about the Leopold and Loeb murders of 1924. Two young 17-year-old uh, boys in Chicago who opt to kill a small boy to see if they are following the Nietzsche traditions of Superman. And are they above society themselves? And you know what a little misdemeanor does for me, babe? Uh, you haven't called me babe in a long time. <laughs> because I know you like it. Leopold and Loeb were two wealthy Chicago teenagers who had everything going for them. They were about to enter law school. They were from very good families. And they decided to commit one of the worst murders in history just for the thrill of it. What would possess you to want to kill somebody? The challenge, fool. Think of how incredibly significant it would be. Now you're scaring me. The story has been told many times in Alfred Hitchcock's Rope, in Compulsion, and just recently in a movie called Swoon. However, they always looked at the murder or the crime and never the relationship between the two boys. And in Stephen's production of Thrill Me, the relationship is the star and it's the manipulation of these two men, how they manipulate each other, how they manipulate themselves, and how society has manipulated them to believe that their homosexuality is wrong. There, are you happy now? Yes. <laughs> In Thrill Me, Nathan Leopold is obsessed with Richard Loeb. Richard Loeb has an obsession with crime thrills, vandalism, arson, things like that. And he basically, using his uh, seductive charms, gets Nathan Leopold to go along with him in his crimes in exchange for his attention. And the crimes begin to escalate. And uh, exactly as it happened in real life. We're superior, we are supermen, says my Nietzsche book, chapters one through 10. And as supermen, we could not get caught, so don't give last night a second thought. Stephen achieves the darkness of the musical in the same tradition as Assassins or Sweeney Todd. It's text based, it's some of the most amazing words put to music in the probably last 10 years. Now our lives will be entwined completely, our friendships now redefined, rethought and revised. No turning back now since our blood's been combined. I knew from the very first that I wanted Thrill Me to be a musical, and I felt that the story was so rich and so dramatic with emotional highs that it would be perfect for, for singing and perfect for song, and uh, I never thought twice about it. There's nothing like the sight of something burning. Something burning. I would describe the music in Thrill Me as very standard musical theater. It has a sound like Candor and Ebb or Stephen Schwartz. Uh, the songs, I think, are melodic. The lyrics tell the story and drive the plot forward. I saw Thrill Me when it first opened at the York Theater in New York in 2005. Pretty much from the second song on, I decided Arts West had to do this show. Arts West is putting on a very exciting production of Thrill Me. I think it might even be the best one since the New York production. They contacted me several months ago and let me know that they were interested in producing Thrill Me. And I was very excited because I read a lot about Arts West's reputation here in Seattle and really all over the United States. So everyone here has been very wonderful to work with, so much talent in the cast, the crew, the directing, the piano playing, e even the box office. It's just been a wonderful experience so far, and I cannot wait to open. What if you run to that spot, mm -hmm. sing that last, those two lines there, then when you normally would turn, 
meander here and then just look over your shoulder on that the way I do. That will feel wonderful. Stephen is an open actor writer. The wonderful thing about theater is depending on who the team is, we'll color the story. We all bring in our own personal opinions and our own backstories. I'll lure him to my car, then strike with something sizable. Arts West is suggesting Thrill Me is for 16 and above. We allow the parent to make their own suggestions and their own decisions. If you have a student that you are willing to talk to who's 10, 11, and they are you know, mature enough, this is the perfect way to introduce bigotry, to introduce self-hatred, and to open that platform and talk to your student about it. I think theater is a wonderful way to do that. However, it's about murder. Not all children are ready for it. It had gone way too far. I was acting like his prisoner much too late to start resisting. The crowbar, however, is perfecto. In Thrill Me, there are a few surprises along the way, a few twists and turns. Things aren't always exactly what they seem with Nathan and Richard. If you want to see your son, be alone when you arrive. Do exactly as we say. Then you'll get him back alive. 90 minutes, it's a roller coaster ride. You'll feel a little bad, like you did something wrong, you know, a little naughty. We want audiences to come, and they really should. It's not one to miss. It's not gonna be done here again. So get here for this chance, because otherwise it's gonna be gone. Not forever, but, but for life, plus 99 years. For life, plus 99 years. Life plus 99 years. Life plus 99. Life plus 99 years.